either um, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini Pisces. I'm Gemini Pisces. I want to overlap here for you, dear Gemini. We're here with your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in, loving light to you all here. Welcome to this new series reading. It's going to be um, the daily predictions for March for you, dear Gemini. Gemini 2020, March. <laughs> Gemini, March 2020. Well, I'll see what's coming through here for you, Gemini. And it's interesting. We have here right on the face of the stack before we do shuffle, the Mother of Swords. And this is strong air energy here. Um, perhaps as a focus for you throughout this month, it is mirroring here, the higher font. There's something I'm hearing. It's it's so exciting. I'm hearing it's unbelievable. I'm hearing as well. I'm hearing it in this way for you now. This will be incorporating the tarot cards, but in addition, dear Gemini, it will also be a channeled message. So whatever it is that I kind of feel, whatever it is that I might hear, um, coming through here as a focus throughout this period, um, I'll be taking heed of and I'll and I'll sort of channel that through for you. Thank you all so much again for tuning in. For those who've been following for quite some time, thank you for connecting. Let's get on with it here for you, dear Gemini. I'm gonna give the a deck, the deck a shuffle <clears throat> and uh, see what's coming through here. Wow, I'm hearing it's a surprise. <laughs> Whoa, lights going off there. <clears throat> I'm hearing it's a surprise. There's something that, well, the card had popped out and uh, I don't see what it is. Um, okay, there are a few more. I'm hearing uh, a, few, a few more conversations. I'm hearing where that's come from here. I'm number of cards pop down another separate stack we'll get to that and then we'll pull for each of the days all right gemini let's get into it here for you all right the first week we've got the nine of pentacles coming through okay and uh i'll set this up here in the beginning of the week and we'll go one two three four five six seven and then we'll we'll make sort of a four four uh lines there you got the death card trailing out from the nine of pentacles dear gemini you got a major arcana here with the nine of pentacles then we lead into the emperor another major arcana gemini all right this is aries and scorpio energy coming through in the first week we've then got here on the, around the third fourth of march we got the two of cups <clears throat> So you lead into the first week of March with the Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me, Gemini. <coughs> okay. <laughs> There's something we need to glorify, Gemini. <laughs> here, we got the Death card here mirroring the Two of Cups. Now, be this someone who's coming through. You could be dealing with a Scorpio for a number of you, even an Aries. This could be an aspect of your own being as well, something that is being brought up for, for review. I'm hearing also conversation. We are moving through Mercury retrograde during this period. I, what I'm getting is that there is a focus on the cards that had come through when we were first shuffling in the beginning of the reading. So, and we're going to again take a look at those cards, but I'm seeing that that is a real strong focus here around the, at least the first week. There could be a big conversation coming, especially when it comes to the part even of your chart that is related to the archetype of Aries and or an Aries. There could be someone who has a lot of Aries in their chart who may be involved. This could be something that you've been really waiting a very long time to sort of, um, I'm hearing to address, okay, in front of you, Gemini. Now you have here, the, again, the two of cups. I'm hearing Taurus as well. It could be a for focus on a, um, on, on a Taurus or some sort of partnership. Oh my. Oh, Gemini. Holy moly. Okay. What, it's so funny. I'm hearing, I'm hearing it's a celebration. Wow. That was really intense. One second. I got to get you off the ground, Gemini. Hold on a second there. What's going on? Oh my, okay. So, now, oh no. Yeah, what in the absolute world? Gemini, okay, so my, my screen did kind of crack there. Oh my, yeah, it cracked. Uh, but, <laughs> okay, when I looked at, um, it's funny because I kind of felt like, you know what? I shouldn't situate that up there. Like I had a feeling about oh, what would be happening. And I looked at the I looked at the time and it was actually three three three. So Gemini, for a number of you, right then when the screen cracked, we had three three three. There's something that you're actually you're completely transforming. There's no and I'm hearing it in this way. There's no there's no going back. <laughs> that's that's what I'm hearing for you. And look, at the end of the day, Gemini, right? Sometimes we've gotta make okay, some changes that really, really shake up the game. Okay, sometimes we and we, and we have this knowingness, we know, we know, whatever it is, and I'm seeing that for a number of you, this is something that you've wanted to change, okay? This is something that you've realized, you know what? I've got to, I've got to shout in the glass. I've got to do it. And you know, it's not always going to be something that necessarily also makes sense. Let's also say it in that way, Gemini. There's something that perhaps you feel and you kind of, you have this knowingness with. This is a premonition for a number of you, Gemini, that you, that you have. Okay, yet again, I'm hearing the knowingness that 
that, that this is, you know, this is going to be a, either a law big conversation I'm hearing or, uh, but it's really, it's honestly exciting. You kind of see how happy I am. I'm happy that this kind of happened. I'm not sure what that's alluding to for a number of you, Gemini, but whatever this changes that comes through, okay, it's, 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 I'm hearing it's, it was destined to happen perhaps, right? It feels like it's a destiny. We do have here in the card of Scorpio, the death card here coming through right next to the emperor. This is, I'm hearing a major confrontation with, um, I'm hearing it's a conversation for a number of you, God, I'm hearing that's specifically i'm hearing it's something that perhaps we it's a matter of the comfort zone and um th let me say it in this way this is kind of what's coming to, to mind it's like you know sometimes we feel well all right right now I, I i i realize that there's something that i'm hearing also uh i, I need to address it's so weird gemini because on this um on the blinds on the window <laughs> I've, I've been here for like two years about a year actually year to, you know two months or whatever look in here at the blinds and i'm not sure why that might be focused but i've never noticed this on the blinds it actually has like a it has it what looks like an at symbol and it says at bali <laughs> i don't know what and i was just right i'm looking at that right there gemini i don't know what that might be alluding to and uh when the screen cracked actually the card the anonymous card okay that actually the first card that flipped out and was upside down uh just literally split in between the two of cups and the emperor and is now sitting in between the two so there's something that actually has really i'm hearing it's a breakthrough moment now i'm really excited to turn over this card and see what in the world is is is, is coming through her for you gemini um and um for number i'm hearing it's a new brand it's a new it's a new i'm hearing like muzzle top i'm hearing it's celebration and in some cultures right breaking glass is actually a good uh it's an omen all right so let's get into it again here for you gemini now what's kind of coming through again is a sort of feeling of well you know sometimes you, you, there's this feeling of like, okay, well, something is bu bugging me even, okay? And it could just be something like, that you feel is just sort of even like, it's just, I'm hearing something's not right. There could be this feeling that you maybe you've even had for quite some time where you're like, I don't know how to describe it, but I just feel like, it's like, ugh, I don't know. It's like, I can't really tell you like what's wrong in the room. I just feel like the temperature, so something's off. I'm hearing that as well. So for a number, maybe there was some sort of even dynamic or aspect of a certain dynamic that was just, it was not, I'm hearing, it was just not working. I'm hearing the end of the day, we got to be real on it. This could be in terms of love, partnerships, even, uh, again, an aspect of your being. Something that you actually, it could be something that you feel was repressed, that you felt you weren't, you weren't really channeling. Um, for a number of you, it could be even related to your career and finances. Now, let's get back into it. It could be even like a work dynamic or whatever it may be. I'm hearing Taurus here for a number of you. Maybe it's even a contract, something that you've been working through or working on, through working through the stra strategic space of, or the lens of, that just wasn't, wasn't making sense. Now, okay, this is the sort of feeling where, you know that moment where you're like, okay, it's really uncomfortable to have to address this, <laughs> but once it is that I do, okay, then it will make room for what makes me way, makes me feel way more comfortable. For me, this has to do with the physical body. It's something that perhaps you feel guided to address. Let's turn this card over. It's the Sun of Pentacles. For a number of you, you're definitely dealing with the Taurus, no question, no doubt, and or some kind of, there's a project here that's on the horizon. It's very exciting, Gemini. Um, it requires of you, though, to really, uh, to, I'm hearing to take it, to take some downtime. I'm hearing even a vacation. For me, you've been, you've had your eye on, on some, some actual place uh for quite some time again bali here on the on the on the blinds i don't know what <laughs> never seen that it's like the brand of the blind i don't know what 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 that signifies but anyways for number you, there's something even a retreat there's something that you is calling you it is actually for your health i'm hearing that as well uh i'm hearing the letter s i'm hearing a c i'm hearing uh c c see me i don't know what that's alluding to i'm hearing see more someone has also perhaps a project in mind for you it it as you might feel it there's a lot of potential here all right let's pull uh, a few more cards gemini i'm hearing uh, here around the one two three four fifth we've got the eight of wands okay uh yeah talk about a big a, a big breakthrough moment as well or even uh, this is sort of an epiphany one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth, we've got the four of pentacles coming through. On the seventh, we've got the seven of swords. Okay. Now, for a number of you, you've been waiting to hear from someone, okay, and they may they may come through. I'm seeing that you, for a number of you, this is something that you actually had a premonition about again, or and or you've had a premonition about bringing bringing this out on your part. Maybe it's something that you feel you are to present. Um, again, I'm hearing breaking point here around the tail end of the first week, Gemini. Let's jump into the second week. You got the six of wands daughter of wands wow Whew. exhalation there there's something that you're releasing you're letting go of you're getting also very comfortable with uh, around the eighth we've got the two of swords 
uh, the 8th? Hold on. <laughs> Second week, we've got, uh, well, let's say around the 8th, we've got the Six of Wands. Around the 9th, the Daughter of Wands. And around the 10th, we've got the Two of Swords. Around the 11th, we got the Mother of Swords, who wants to see, to be seen in tandem with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, this is a big decision here, and that was actually a theme card that, uh, that came through. So around the second week, there could be some sort of real, real big deal that maybe, actually, it may be a deal. It could even be a contract that you end up signing for a number of you feel like, and or you feel very much guided. There's something that's really divinely, uh, divinely guided perhaps even around that time where you feel like now is the time there's no other there's no other time to address this i'm hearing it as well in that way you've got the tire funk over here yeah for now you definitely signing some sort of contract i really wish that you could kind of see this um gemini I, 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 I. <laughs> okay but well hmm here are the cards. I don't know. I just feel guided to show you that there. Okay, so maybe for a number of you, there's something that I'm hearing. You have a you. There, there's something that you realize. Actually, also you want, and um, you know, isn't that really the the, the most pivotal? point of making also transformation knowing what it is we want knowing the change that we actually wish to make um so there's some clarity with that as i'm seeing it for you gemini now we then move into let's see uh 8 9 10 11 12 on the 13th we got the seven of wands and on the 14th we've got the justice card okay yeah for number you um I'm hearing you're making a deal. <laughs> we maybe be even, even with yourself. It's something that you're maybe deciding on. And um, for a number of you, there are a number of people involved. There could be two people involved. There could be also one person involved making two as a total or two other people making three as a total. I'm not sure why that might be a focus. Um, for a number of you, this is a, a production company that you want to start. I'm hearing that as well, like right off the bat. It could be even a YouTube channel. For a number of you, you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. For a number of you, you want to work with animals. No question, no doubt. Eight of Cups coming through around the third week of... I'm hearing July. Okay. Gemini, are you setting something into motion for the summer months to come? You've got the Eight of Cups here coming through around the third week, trailing into the Five of Wands with the Eight of Swords. There's something that makes you a little nervous here. I'm not sure what that might be, but we'll get into it. Uh, leading in, wow, you're pulling in pairs now. Six of Swords with the world. This is around the 15th, 16th, the 17th. 18th, we've got the Four of Wands. 19th, we've got the Six of Cups. 20th we've got the fool and on the 21st we got the town of cups baby okay someone's actually um i'm hearing brand brand branding again uh what's real interesting is at the tail end of each week we almost in every week we've got a major arcana second week we've got the justice card and the third week we've got the fool so there's something that you're really you're like actually um it's a surprise it's something perhaps that you're coming out with it could be something you're coming out with um it's something that you're actually very very excited <laughs> to to brand okay or to somehow um promote it could be even a product it could be something that you've you've started uh it could be even a uh show wow this is for a number of you perhaps you're like making something official okay i'm hearing that as well now um for a number of you maybe a little bit you're a little wary of it perhaps on some level or another in some dimension or another there is some element or aspect of uh, i'm here for a number of you right off the bat i'm hearing re realism i'm hearing reality 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 check i'm hearing that as a reality show for number there's something that, like that you're even you're seeing very clearly it's something maybe that you feel is more realistic at this point as well now for number it's an epiphany you're having a vision in the last week of march we lead in with the three of cups leading into the 22nd is the three of cups 20 uh third is the father swords big conversations here coming gemini i'm hearing that specifically i'm hearing the letter l leadership i'm hearing as well seven of cups um for you're being i'm hearing called 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 to promote something i'm hearing that well, we're gonna get into it around the uh the 24th we got the seven of cups 25th we got the seven of pentacles 26th we've got the ace of cups wow gemini double whammy we've got two aces the ace of wands leading you out Whew, take a deep breath okay um 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th is the three of cups, three of wands. I said three of cups. There could be some sort of overlap here. The, okay, we're on the 22nd and the 20, uh, let's see, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 28th, 29th. We've got this 10 of pentacles. Um, 29th, we said 20, 10 of pentacles, right? 
30th, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. 31st, we've got the Sun of Swords. I'm hearing welcome with the chariot. Oh my goodness, Gemini. Oh, it's such a big, I'm hearing, it's a big deal. This is a big, I'm hearing, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, for a number of you, I'm hearing it's a breakthrough moment. For a number of you, maybe you've decided on something, maybe even to have children. I'm hearing that right off the bat for a number of you. For a number of you, you realize you're pregnant. I'm hearing that as well. Okay, wow. This is like something becomes really also though clear to you. I'm hearing it in this way. There's something that you realize you even you want. For a number of you, wow, right in the clock there 1444 where well, it could be a focus on those numbers um perhaps one and four uh, even 14 now uh even four for four for a number of you there is something that i'm hearing the letter l, l i'm hearing l but i'm seeing m i'm hearing mel as well mel i'm hearing melodrama for a number of you you're getting signed to some sort of even show i'm hearing a gun in that way there's something that maybe even you've created that you in some way are partnering up with now on i'm hearing a, let, let me give you an example of what i'm kind of getting Maybe for a number of you have some product, let's say that you've already created. What I'm seeing is that there is now this production side to the space, maybe even on a promotion level. I'm hearing that like maybe you've created something and now you're starting to get, you're starting to even um, get feedback, even income in relation to it. There's something that is actually very, really getting a lot of press. I'm hearing as well around this time. Um, for a number of you, you're signing some sort of, I'm hearing coalition statement. I'm not sure about that's alluding to for a number you're working with even um I'm hearing it's a side business. I'm hearing that as well. Side income stream, stream of income, maybe around the third week towards the tail end of the week, you're going to be having some sort of even um, realization for you're partnering up to actually expand your income model. Very interesting. I'm hearing your stream of income for number. There's a focus on the number six. Maybe even there are six companies who you are partnering up with and or six, six, six people that might be involved in whatever this space is. Now let's get into that stack that jumped out in the very beginning. Gemini, we've got the six of pentacles for number there's something very very exciting oh my goodness the magician coming through with a sign of cups size the sign of cups son of wands the four swords for number you've been waiting on this this is something that you've actually prepared for this is something that you've actually you've planned okay this is not like a surprise like where 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 did everyone go and where 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 did they also come from no i'm seeing it's so funny i'm seeing people entering into a room and like the people who are in that room are confused and then those people leave and those people are at the same time confused of where those people went i'm seeing like a transformation it's funny i'm hearing that song where have all the cowboys gone is that by uh cheryl crow or who, who is that by paula something paula um and uh i'm seeing like it's like the cow i'm seeing cowboys in room who've, who've left the room and then i'm seeing like a new another group of cowboys have entered into that room and like the people there are a set group of people i don't know why this is a focus um why this visual social focus but there's a set group of people in that room <laughs> who have like watched this transformation um maybe this is for a number of you in industry trend no i'm seeing that that's not really like that there's not there's not this feeling of like what has okay this has to do with trends in your industry this is for a number of you or cycles here for me this has to do with also family someone's meeting someone's family for the very first time i'm hearing that as well and it may be something that becomes real clear maybe someone's announcing something even towards the tail end of the month <laughs> gemini okay now for me this definitely is a birth we got the ace of pentacles mirroring the fool all right <laughs> we've got it right next to the higher font <laughs> we've got the justice card right above the fool it's sensational okay it really is very emotional you got the ace of cups and the ace of wands for me this is something you realize also at the same time you got the six of cups at the base of the higher font it's destiny it's destined i'm hearing the letter g i'm hearing t taylor i'm hearing taylor graham I'm here and I don't know what that's alluding to. All right. And you lean out again with a chariot with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. For no reason, this is something you've even got a vision. It's something that you, it's an epiphany moment. You're like, I realize what I want. I'm hearing that again. Hawking and going on around there for you. All right. And so for a number of you, it's, it's something that you've actually, um, it's a culmination, okay? That is that sort of feeling of like, wow, I feel like I've actually made it. I feel like I've, I've, I'm, I'm hearing, I've, I've made it to the next level. For a number, you feel like maybe even there's something that has grown, um, to reach a certain height. Now let's move back here to the magician, the son of wands. Again, for Nuri, this is something that you even want to take a very strategic approach with. It's something you want to be very careful with, perhaps how you entertain whatever the space was. For number, this is someone else's energy or someone's energy. Who? Uh, it's funny. I'm seeing like a paw print. I'm not sure what that's 
going to here with the Son of Pentacles and the Son of Wands with the Magician. For me, there's something that you've actually, um, I'm hearing you've, 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 you've realized, I'm hearing y the value of. This is for a no number of you. Someone is presenting something to you. It could even be a promotion. Perhaps you're being also offered with a number of ideas. I'm hearing it right off the bat in that way. Uh, and you're making a decision on which one to take up. And again, that might be around the second week where we've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Mother of Swords. One way or another, I'm hearing your story is now clear. I'm hearing it as well in this way for you, Gemini. Uh, you're, again, I'm hearing generating also multiple income streams. It's very exciting. I'm hearing this for a number of you right off the bat. If this is your Midhaven Angle sign, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, it would then most likely speak uh, to uh, matters that are related to uh, to income, okay, given that the Midhaven is the highest point in the chart, ruling the 10th house, um, and thereby a naturally uh, Capricornian energies, your natural inborn Capricornian energies. We've all got Capricorn, we've all got the 10th house in our chart somewhere, and we've all got a Saturn. So even if, let's say, you're a sun sign Gemini or moon sign Gemini, um, you still have those Capricorn energies at play. And so if, let's say, this is for a number of you, if, let's say, you're, you're, you're I'm hearing your Venus as well. Uh, it's funny, I'm seeing Venus and Gemini, but in the 10th house, even in conjunction with the with the Midhaven could be a specific message coming through for a number of you if so I'm seeing that you work with crystals I'm hearing that as well right off the bat now I'm hearing J okay now let's backtrack uh if that is the case Gemini um there's something I'm hearing you're it's in production I'm hearing you're moving I'm hearing that as well you're 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 you're, you're moving to the next level I'm hearing that again with the higher font and the ace of pentacles um for a number of you I'm hearing journey it's a it's a journey or it's a long journey for a number of you it's something that you're actually you're starting <laughs> you're really actually really going to start or towards the tail end I'm hearing ace of cups and the ace of wands it's something that you've really I'm hearing also you've wanted for quite some time um now now, for number you, again, I'm hearing the pistols. I'm not sure what that's only to hear with the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Cups for a number of you. There's a story, there's a backstory to this. Um, it has to do with, uh, with what actually motivates you. For a number of you, it's something you've had a vision of for so long. Wow, the Three of Wands right over the Ace of Wands. Now, Let's jump back into the Son of Wands with the Magician, which is right in that in that first deck that, that fell out. Um, for a number of you, again, I'm hearing that this is something that you... I'm hearing you've been wanting, you've been wanting to to actually present. And again, this can be the energy of another, but well, well right, we were talking about your Midhaven Angle energy. So... For a number of you, I'm seeing that your Midhaven angle, if it is in Gemini, then this would most likely speak to matters of also public life. Um, if you want to know what's going on with your public life, and let's say uh, Gemini is not your, your Midhaven angle, then feel free to take a look at your Midhaven angle. If you would like to calculate, if you don't know your Midhaven angle and you'd like to calculate that, you can do so by clicking the link in the web box below, or you can just simply go to alchemy.com and there should be a little... A little um, a little link there in the uh, in in the in the header tab that says calculate my chart. So feel free to click through there, um, or just Google, and you can uh, you can calculate your placements. Now, uh, Gemini. <laughs> um, okay, I'm hearing the seventh. I'm hearing the seventeenth. There is a focus here on the number seven. There's an opportunity here. I'm hearing perhaps it's around the seventh or the seventeenth um, that also becomes more more. I'm hearing more realistic. I'm not sure what that's alluding here, but I'm hearing it here coming through for you around the last week of March. Now, this is around the, let's say, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, so the 25th, we see the Seven of Pentacles coming through. So there's something that actually you realize, um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the switch. I'm hearing role model. I'm hearing that specifically the seven of cups. I'm hearing switch and bait as well. Seven of cups and the seven of pentacles. For me, maybe that you were deciding between two options. It could be in terms of strategy and how to approach some major theme or conversation. I'm seeing it as related to the seven of pentacles. Um, again, maybe for anybody, there was something that was presented maybe even uh, in December. I'm hearing last of last year. I'm hearing last month and it's like now you're just kind of making the decision or you're seeing something very clearly about what was presented to you around that time. I'm hearing the polls. I'm hearing that as well. The seven of pentacles and the seven of cups. Again, I'm hearing the switch for a number of you. This is something that um, I'm hearing realistic again. I'm hearing it's like maybe there was something that you even you had an idea about. This was a, a bit of time ago and then you started to realize, wow, OK, um, I know kind of what what I'm really working with here as well. So maybe for a number of you, there was something that you actually 
actually you you wanted to really take your time with you maybe you didn't want to like just jump into it just you know right out the gate accept whatever this offer was or whatever this maybe this business opportunity was maybe you had an idea for an, an, a business and you're like it's amazing i know that it has a ton of potential but i don't want to just jump into the pool like that and and you know surprise everyone as well so maybe there was um even an aspect of formality that you wanted to kind of secure whatever this position uh, was with. So maybe for a number of you, there was this was something that either someone wanted to be, let's make this real clear, either someone wanted to approach you with in a formal way or in a way where they really, they, ga they gave you also incentive that was practical. Maybe it is in terms of compensation, like maybe someone had their eye on you and they wanted you in their cast. I'm hearing that specifically. They wanted to create something even with you or promote you. I'm hearing that as well. I'm hearing the letter I, I'm hearing illy. I'm not sure what that's alluding to. Uh, I'm hearing illumination. Uh, maybe they. this is someone who had their eye perhaps on you. And if this is your Venus sign especially, and or if it is the sign that's cusping your seventh house, um, then this might speak to you in terms of relationships, partnerships. Um, but whatever it is, there was someone who perhaps, again, was very much also interested in partnering up or collaborating with you in some way. It could be in terms of your creative production. I'm hearing that as well. Um, and uh, if that is the case, uh, maybe they really took their time with that. Like maybe they really were like, all right. And there could be a focus on the number seven here for a number of you, or you may be dealing with a Taurus. Again, I'm hearing that specifically on the seven of pentacles, anchoring the base of your reading with the seven of cups. Uh, again, around the last uh, week of the month. And then you got the seven of pentacles eight at the apex of your spread. So there is something that maybe was also really promising as someone may have felt it. They're like, maybe they met you and they're like, there's a ton of potential right then and there. The seven of pentacles was spinning here. The ace of cups in circles okay when i set the seven of pentacles down it like spun the ace of cups so someone ha has really i'm hearing really really had their eye on you you have a very strong focus here on the archetype of a taurus dear gemini and um I'm hearing the letter B. I'm hearing Biddy. Biddy. I'm hearing Betty. I'm hearing as well. Maybe again for an overview, like someone even bet on something. They're like, I bet you this is, this has a lot of potential. Maybe for anybody this is doing with investment as well. Maybe or an industry that you're like you really or a product that you wanted to get off the ground. Now, um, again, someone was maybe really taking their time with that. I'm hearing the letter S. Okay. I'm hearing the drive. I'm hearing soul. I'm hearing uh, soul. I'm hearing as well with the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Now the number seven as well as possible and through real strongly here throughout your spread um the number seven is rather rather i'm hearing karmic also spiritual take it as you will um for a number of you um there's something that you've actually you've learned of this is something that maybe you've been researching yes strongly so for a number of you i'm seeing is related even to um the activation of the archetype of aquarius even in your birth chart now for a number of you i'm hearing this is your best friend i'm hearing for a number of you this is your boyfriend and or your soon to be boyfriend i'm not sure about those allude to gemini all right we've got the seven of cups here and the seven of pentacles now <laughs> okay now for a number of you again maybe someone again be it all right we were saying Either this is someone who's had their eye on you. This is someone who's had their, really, and I'm hearing the letter B as well, strongly with the son of pentacles. I'm hearing Ben, Big Ben. I'm hearing the Big Bang. I'm hearing well, theory. I'm not sure I can say it as you will. We've got the son of pentacles looking at the magician with the son of, son of wands. Again, a lot of potential. Okay, someone perhaps was approaching a certain space slowly but surely. Maybe that's that was their perspective. Okay, and um, for a number of you, um, it, it, again, I'm hearing the letter B very strongly here with the Son of Pentacles and even the Emperor. Okay, and I'm hearing strings, the strings with the Emperor and the Son of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they were really taking their time. Okay, like they were, they are a strategist. I'm hearing strategist. I'm hearing uh, the letter M. I'm hearing a Millie. I'm hearing that song, what is it? Uh, a Millie, a Millie, a Millie. Okay. So if for those of you who are wondering, like, why is she talking, why is she talking so fast? Okay, um, this is whatever is kind of coming through channeling. I'm channeling the energy that I'm feeling and um, what I'm hearing. So I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, channeling through. For a number of you, this is someone who wants to make an impression and they really want to be very careful with that. This is someone who maybe as they saw it or as they saw you, there was a sort of feeling of, uh, again, suitor, suitor-like potential. Maybe they met you. This was, again, a while ago. It could be your best friend. This is for a number of you. And just finally, I'm hearing they're coming out about this just look at the clock there 28 minutes and eight seconds that's eight eight uh for a number of you i'm hearing round and round for a number of you feel like you've you've really uh you formed actually quite a relationship with this person that could be focused on even past lives the number eight being related to the archetype of scorpio in the eighth house now all right again for a number of you though this is your own energy it's something that you again you had a vision of even and you were like well i don't want to just 
jump into the space. I feel like maybe there is actually, for whatever you maybe you felt that there was actual information that you needed to learn or to acquire in order to appropriately address the space. Let's jump into uh, a quick little pick a, pick a stack reading um, as a little bonus here for this spread. So whatever these energies may be coming through. Let's uh, create three stacks. And so uh, whichever one you feel guided to may provide further insights in terms of what may come through around this month for you, Gemini. All right, so let's shuffle the cards and uh, and, uh, and give it a whirl. All right. <laughs> okay, for those of you who are following, if you're wondering, well, why am I not getting notified? Let's say you're already subscribed and um, you'd like to get notified, then just ensure that the bell icon is actually activated, okay? Make sure that it's active on the subscribe button, and it should be highlighted blue. So you should see a little blue bell if you'd like to get notified of uh, when new readings post. I know some of you are wondering, why am I not getting notified? So you do need to click subscribe and also click that little blue icon to get notified when new videos post. So I typically post uh, general readings for each of the month. And I'm, I'm also starting, well, new I have the new moon series as well. So I'll do readings for the new moon as well as the full moon for each of those 12 signs. And I'll also, um, sometimes I'll jump into a first of the 15th, 15th to the 31st. And, uh, and here and there, I'll do some special little reads, uh, like this with a pick of cards, stacks, and, um, as well, uh, um, the uh the monthly the daily predictions all right so if you do if you would like to get notified of new readings then feel free all right we got the first stack here coming through <laughs> and we'll pull another few cards here for the first stack and uh okay so we'll have that stack a stack b coming through <sighs> okay and the third stack here all right now stack a stack B and stack C. So feel free to pick your stack as you feel guided. And uh, I'll give you a quick look here at the stack. So we've got here stack A, stack B, and stack C. And uh, let's see here what um, maybe coming through here for you, dear Gemini, around this time. So feel free to choose your stack. Now, all right, stack, let's jump into it. Stack A is a seven of wands. I'm hearing big ideas big, big ideas. Okay. we got the moon here and the six of pentacles for a number of you. There could be a focus on the archetype of Scorpio, even Aries. Uh, for a number of you, I'm hearing this is a really, really big deal. I'm not sure what that's alluding to. Maybe for a number of you feel very, you feel a very strong connection to even maybe this person or this aspect even of your own being. It could be an ability of yours for a number of you big time. You have a very strong spiritual connection, even a past life connection in this space, perhaps again with this person. Um, you've got the uh, card of Pisces coming through. This is a hangman. You've then got the three of wands as well with the wheel of fortune in front of you. Somebody gets nervous here. I don't know what that's alluding to. Somebody was like, they have this nervous nervousness when they when they perhaps or even they come around this person. I don't know what that you could be dealing with. Somebody who's got also a lot of water in their chart. Uh, this could be your energy. It could be that of another. Now I'm hearing the letter G and B. Wow, Gemini, you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands for a number of you. Someone's been waiting to make a move if this is the case. Let's say you're dealing with someone, let's say, who's got a lot of Scorpio and a lot of Pisces, or if you feel that you've got a really strong, uh, I'm hearing soul, soul, soul connection here with someone. Uh, someone's been really waiting to make a move, but they've been very careful, very hesitant with taking that first step. There could be a focus on the number six, even seven. I'm hearing two and three. Three, I'm hearing very strongly. And we're looking here at the clock, 32, 32 minutes and 12 seconds. So take it as you will. Let's jump into the second stack, right? Well, Right before we do one second, I'm hearing J as well. I'm hearing exclusivity. The Ace of Wands are reversed and the Ace of Cups. Trying to read this is something that someone wants to profess. Let's jump into the second stack. Gemini, we got the Ten of Pentacles here in stack B coming through. Son of Swords. I'm hearing let's 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 call them up now. Okay, someone's making a the decision. It's a decision to officially pr propose. Okay, that's coming through real strongly. Chariot, Son of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups as well. This could be also to present something. I'm hearing to to promote something. Three of Swords in reverse. Four or cups in reverse, someone is making a decision to even, to again, I'm hearing propose something, also to pursue, once again, to perform, I'm hearing as well, a certain act, wow, ace of swords coming through in reverse, mirroring the chariot, mother of wands upright, five of wands upright, and the eight of swords in reverse, someone's been really, they, they, they want, they, they've wanted to make this official for a number of you you're you there's actually some some long cycle that has been ongoing and someone's like okay been really ready to make that sort of that point of sort of officiality i'm hearing in that way where it's like well why are we just moving in cycles i'm hearing that so, so the ten of pentacles reverse son of swords upright like why perhaps someone was questioning where they felt like 
you know, the, the time is going to come. And I know it. I'm here in this way. This is a premonition looking right at the clock there. 33 minutes and 33 seconds, Gemini. Um, and that's when that glass actually broke in the beginning of the reading. Right. So take it as you will. Okay, um, there could be focus on what has also felt to be like divine timing and well, let's backtrack. What is divine timing and what is divine? I'm seeing for I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune card actually here. So there was something maybe that you were waiting on, or maybe someone has been waiting to also break the ice here or to break break what has felt to be like the silence. I'm hearing the letter M, I'm hearing Mo with the chariot and the two of cups. I'm hearing Mo very strongly. I'm hearing uh lo lo I'm hearing love strong. Rickon. I'm hearing love struck. I'm hearing as well. Wow. For number somebody's actually, they're in love. <laughs> they're freaking in love, Gemini. They are in love. I'm hearing the letter L and T, T, L. I'm hearing as well. Uh, I'm hearing tell us, tell us, tell us more with the chariot and the two of cups. So somebody here is, I'm hearing the letter M. I'm hearing mil. I'm hearing a milli. I'm hearing millisecond. My heart. I'm hearing is racing. I'm hearing a mil. I'm, I'm hearing a million times a second. I don't know what that's alluding to, but for a number, you're you're like someone has even met someone. I'm hearing the letter S and H as well. Someone is. Wow. So actually, uh, I'm hearing they're showcasing some kind of really strong emotion here. This is actually something that was maybe even. It's 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 uh, it's. It's, I'm hearing new. It feels new. I'm hearing newcom, newcomer. Maybe even someone meets someone and it just kind of like, it, sh it shakes up the world. For a number of you, this is something that you've wanted to even present. I'm hearing even to your parents. This has to perhaps even do with family. Um, for a number of you, I'm hearing show and tell with the ace of swords, the three of swords, and the four of cups. I'm hearing guessing game. Okay, I'm hearing guess. So for a number of you, um, this is something that maybe even, you, again, you had a premonition about or someone had a premonition about. Maybe they saw themselves um, kind of carrying out the space eventually, and they were just kind of waiting for the right time to do that. Now, there are a few more cards here. The temperance card in reverse. Someone's been real, real patient here. Devil in reverse. For now, you're dealing with someone who's got a lot of Capricorn in the chart. Perhaps even Sagittarius, even Scorpio, I'm hearing as well. High priestess in reverse. This has been a really long cycle. Let's just say it in that way. This has been a even a, a guided, I'm hearing a guided, a guided cycle. As someone may have felt it. Ten of swords coming through. Wow, stuck like Luna the Four of Swords. For me, this is someone who you've known since childhood, I'm hearing as well. And or there is, uh, I'm hearing that song. Oh, I'm hearing this song. I'm hearing, uh, I, I want to get away. Chase you down. I think that's the name of the song. Chase you down. Um, I want to get away. Get Way, something like that. Higher front of right. And this is someone was so they were really they want they were focused on this. They wanted to make it official. Again, I'm here in that way for so long. Maybe this is someone, even a friend who wanted to come out and confess, even that they have feelings for you. I'm hearing G. I'm hearing L. I'm hearing Gil Gil Gilford. I'm hearing Gilbert. I'm hearing Gilly. Jilly. I'm hearing Jilly. I don't know what else we do. Uh, I'm hearing Jillian as well. Here the higher font and the six of cups. Now let's backtrack for a number of you. Someone, uh, I'm hearing Brad. I'm hearing Bradford. Brad Pitt. I'm hearing as well. Okay. I'm hearing. It's no secret now. Anyways, let's backtrack <laughs> for a number of you. This is actually someone who's promoting someone in a really public way. I'm hearing, I've got to be famous. Like someone, I'm seeing someone like famous promote someone or like call someone out. I don't know what that's alluding to, but again, it's very exciting. Now I'm seeing someone was really waiting. They were maybe even a little nervous. They were like, how will this person, they were thinking of themselves how if this resonates with you as someone perhaps coming out with something be it you or be it another uh again i'm hearing someone who pre presents some, someone or something uh maybe again to their family uh it could be an introduction it could even be something in networking um someone was like kind of nervous they're like okay they were thinking if i were to come out with this how would they actually how would they what would they do? What would they, what would they do? And I'm hearing from everybody, this is a letter. They were like thinking, would this person throw the letter out if I presented to them in this way? Let's jump into the third stack, stack C. This uh, daughter of sorts, someone is very confident here. Okay, dresses in reverse, daughter of of right. But the justice card is actually horizontally laid. Someone, I'm hearing the letter M. I'm hearing it's related to the contract. I'm hearing marry me. I'm hearing marriage, marriage potential, daughter, swords, and the justice card. Now, this is someone who, again, I'm hearing is very confident. There's someone who feels like there's a lot of potential somewhere. Wow, they're like willing to, this. they're very attracted. Son of wands upright. Whoa, the emperor upright and the sun upright. This is all fire energy. You've got two major arcana with the son of wands. Some of you dealing with someone's got a lot of areas in the chart. It could be your own energy. Very much so. I'm hearing this for a number of you. I'm hearing the letter C L. I'm hearing Cali. Cl uh, I'm hearing cl clap. I'm hearing clap clap. The emperor and the son of uh, and the sun and the sun of wands. So for any of you dealing as well, you got a lot of Leo in your chart. For a number of you, this is something that you're actually. Um, 
you're, I'm hearing you're first, you're first. I'm hearing you're coming first with the Justice card and the Son of Wands. This, for a number of you, is someone who perhaps is, 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 is pursuing you, and they're, like, really direct about it, for a number of you. Again, I'm hearing the letter C, L. I'm hearing clap, clap. Maybe someone's even presenting someone, or they're presenting someone with something. You got the Knight of Pentacles upright, and the Magician. For a number of you, again, someone feels like there's, like, so much potential here. I'm hearing promoting, promoting their content. I'm hearing that as well. Someone could be promoting someone's content. Wow, you got the Son and the Daughter of Wands here in the stack. Gemini, Daughter of Wands, with the Death card in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. Right. I'm hearing that song, Will You Remember Me? Is that by Sarah McLaughlin? Six of Wands upright. For no reason, this is an audition. And let me tell you, if it is, you're a throw. You're, you, are, you, are, you are kicking the ball out of the court. I'm hearing that specifically. Like you're kicking it way off into another stadium. I'm hearing ring as well. So this could be even, um, again, I'm hearing audition, yes, but I'm hearing as well, this could be an introduction. Maybe it is even like an impression that someone's setting. Oh my goodness. If you chose this stack, this somebody is really actually also very excited to meet you i'm hearing that as well and uh feel free you know if there is another stack that has called you or you feel guided to watch on this side feel free i'm seeing that there could be a focus on the number two i'm hearing that as well maybe if you feel guided to watch the second stack as well stack b you got here the again i'm hearing my best friend i'm not sure what that's alluding to you got the magician coming through for you deal with a taurus who's like your absolute best friend maybe you're going into business even with your best friend or with a taurus magician here coming through Again, in the third stack, and we got the tower in reverse. I'm hearing the letter T. I'm hearing tick tock. I'm hearing that as well with the magician and the tower in reverse. Father Pentacles of right. For anybody, you're promoting something, you're presenting something, and it's really actually generating a lot of feedback in a public way, perhaps for a number of you as well. For a number of you, you're realizing there's something you're very excited about. You're like, wow, I really think this is going to be the way. I'm hearing as well that I make I make my 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 name. I'm hearing my uh, I'm hearing a name for myself as well. I'm hearing brand public image. The five of cups coming through upright, daughter pentacles in reverse, and the lovers of right. Right. Wow, Gemini, this is the card of Gemini, the major arcana, the lovers. For a number of you, you're, you've decided on something, maybe even to, to, to pursue some space. Um, it has to do with a space that you feel has a lot of potential, and it could be related to your own character. Maybe for a number of you, there's somebody who you're very also much, um, you feel like you're divinely guided to this space as well, perhaps, or divinely guided to even uh i'm hearing get 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 uh get more involved in this space maybe get to know the space as well um, a little more deeply for a number of you it could be related to the archetype of aries even the first house uh it could be related even to someone who's got a lot of aries in their chart um as well and if that is the case then there's something that maybe you even you want to also uh really actually get uh get get to know i'm hearing it in this way to get to know more um it could even be an industry that really is very very interesting as you might find it um, and, uh, as you might feel it, there could be, um, a lot, a, again, a lot of potential or a lot that, um, may, may be, um, I'm hearing also at, at, at the forefront. Okay. One second for a number of you, it's a, t um, I'm hearing teaching. I'm hearing that as well with the magician and the emperor. Wow. So there, for a number of you, this is coming through real clearly. There is a space that you really feel like there's a lot of potential. I'm hearing the letter H for a number of you. This is someone who you're very interested in. You want to get to know better. I'm hearing it feels like it's really exciting. I'm hearing it feels like heaven. I'm hearing that as well. Thank you so much, Gemini, for tuning in. Love and light to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful, beautiful month ahead for you. Enjoy this period. Always take it as you will. And it's always a matter of perspective and perception. But there's something perhaps that uh, on the whole you feel guided also. Uh, you feel perhaps has been guided that has been coming your way. Love and light to you. Enjoy this period. Bye, Gemini.